Well, well, it's you again. Well, I see you've invited your friends. Need them to fight your battles for you, do you? No, I, I, I didn't invite them, as it happens. Uh, though they are indeed my friends. Well, not only mine, but every true Yulmorans. They are the ones who awakened us to the truth, to Lord Forthree's villainy, the famous warriors of darkness. Are they now? Yes, they are. It would be no exaggeration to call them our saviors. We owe much and more to their kindness, but we cannot depend on that kindness forever. To do so would be a little different from entrusting our affairs to Lord Vorthry. Nay, we must learn to stand on our own two feet. And I would have them present to witness my attempt. Hear, hear, Master Chai. Your sentiments are admirable. Yet admirable sentiments do not a nation make. In my capacity as advisor, I once strove to build a better Yulmore. Gave honest counsel to my superiors, drafted laws for the benefit of one and all. But in time, my values fell out of favor. There was no need for them in this paradise Vorthree was creating. And so I left my homeland behind. But you, Chai News, you were content to wallow in indolence under Vorthri's auspices. And so I cannot help but ask myself what manner of nation you intend to build. I... Uh, I can offer no simple answer to that question. This much I will say. It is my hope that Yulmore can become a nation which her citizens might freely choose to build together. A great many people, myself included, flocked to Yulmore seeking sanctuary. The alternative being to live in fear and die in pain. It seemed an easy choice. And sanctuary we found. As much food and drink as we could ever want. Secured at the cost of the surrounding villages. Little wonder the people gathered at our doorstep, begging to work among the bonded. The free were blind to it all, of course. Content to, as you say, wallow in indolence. In ignorance. Were I mayor, I would first take stock of the city's resources and see that they were assigned equitably. Our days of reckless consumption are behind us. The distinction between free and bonded died with Vorthree. The needs of rich and poor alike must be considered if our nation is to survive to which end I would take steps to secure channels for supplies, rekindle relations with nearby settlements, who re-establish industry, reach out to neighboring nations, and the list goes on and on. But I am no ruler, nor even a politician. I am an entrepreneur. My expertise lie in planning and profit. I haven't the knowledge or experience to run a nation. Please, Rendon, will you not help me? Together, we could solve the city's problems. Build a Yulmore for the people. A 
Yulmur for the people. I rather like the sound of that. But before I offer you my counsel, I would be certain of your ability to perform the duties of office. You would? You ask me to help you solve Yulmore's problems, but first I would see you solve one on your own. Accomplish that, and you will prove both to me and the people that you are a man worth following. Thank you. 